This clip is brought to you by Mark Bell Slingshot. This gear is made for lifters by lifters. Enjoy this clip. Can you describe uh, this like whip and bend of the bar for people that maybe have no idea what we're talking about? And then also maybe like how you kind of wedge yourself into the bar and, and create all that tension before you start to lift? Yeah, definitely. So when I say whip, it's kind of just like, so if you were to just lift the bar off the ground without bracing and without wedging, it's literally going to feel like there's like a, you're going to, you're going to meet a point where it's just going to pull you down because kind of like the same with the Texas bar. When they say pull up the slack, that's to ensure that that extra whip doesn't stop your uh, forward momentum as you pull. And what was the second part of that question? So the bar, the bar is basically bending, right? And so you can yeah. make an argument that maybe this Kabuki bar bends like a little bit more. And because it bends a little bit more, it probably allows you to get in slightly better position uh, as you're starting to pull. So like, what are some techniques you utilize in training to like, I guess, get yourself into that amazing position? Cause you're just, you're completely straight up and down when you're doing the lift. And it almost like, I mean, of course your lower back is being utilized, but it almost doesn't even look like it. Yeah. So that was actually, this is kind of off subject for a sec, but it'll kind of explain it. So I did conventional my first few years and I only tried out sumo because I was getting lower back pain. And at the time, I didn't realize I wasn't bracing properly and I was letting my back sag too much, but it worked out because obviously I realized very quickly I did sports like track and field, football, ba basketball, and baseball. So I did a lot of running and stuff as a kid and I did a lot of mobility drills to get my groin and hip flexors really healthy and strong. Mm. So then when I started sumo, I already had a pretty good range of mobility and from the beginning I went really wide. So I do some static stretches for my hips. I like doing hip airplanes to kind of open up the hips and kind of get that, uh, kind of get used to opening up. Mm -hmm. I use the hip circle. No, no shame on the plug there. I've been using the hip cir circle for years. I like it because it just primes my glutes because especially because I pull so wide. If your glutes aren't firing, that's a huge part. Like I feel like my back is locked into place, but obviously my quads, my quads and my glutes are the main movers. Like if my glutes aren't firing at lockout, I'm not going to be able to, to be able to bring my hips through like I do. Mm. So glutes is, glutes is a big deal, and I'll do all sorts of little things with the with the uh, hip circle. Like I'll do glute kickbacks. I'll do kind of glute mm. side. I don't know what you call them. Like where you just bring your leg to your side. There's just so many different things you can use with the hip circle. So that's why I like it because it's a very like versatile little band or tool or whatever you want to call it. But when I, when I pull, how I think about getting into position is first, I kind of, I learned it kind of from Dan Green, how he used to kind of like, you do that thing where he'd bring his arms up and kind of tense his lats up. So I think about tucking initially. And once I get to the bar, I open up, I set my grip and then I'll, I'll lift my hips up and then I'll brace, I'll brace and spread the floor at the same time. And I like doing it all in one motion because if you do if you brace and then set your hips, it's kind of, it takes longer. And I feel like you can't wedge as well. You can't get as upright. And the fact that I'm so upright, like you said, my back never really, it's not to say I don't feel my back, but I'm not a very back dominant puller. Like if I had to rely solely on my back to be the prime mover at deadlift, like I think conventional, I could probably get, if I did it for a few months, like mid to high eight hundreds, like I'm not, I'm not no Jamal Browner. I wouldn't be pulling 950 <laughs> conventional. You know, I'm not like that's that's just insane seeing what he did recently. So I know I know my strengths, and that's how I learned to pull the way where I utilize my strengths the most. You know, mm. if you have a strong back, then you figure out the best way to use that. I have strong legs. I have very mobile hips and strong legs. So I found the best way to utilize that to get me stronger, the best position possible to utilize all those muscles. You know, Pat Project family, we appreciate you checking out this clip. Check out another one. Just, just, just go check out another one. Or comment down below and let us know what you liked about this one. But we love you guys, and we're going to keep bringing you the heat. So comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, okay? Peace.